Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. All right, I finished season two of Billions. I'm hooked. <laughs> this was a great season. Um, in part two, the first well, if you remember the first season, you know, people please don't spoil my third, fourth, fifth. I'm watching to watch season three now. I should be on season six by next month <laughs> because I work so much. Or I might I might see it sooner. I try to watch two or three episodes at night. Now, this is what I love about it. Axelrod and Chuck Hearns, those are my guys. They are the best thing about the show. The cat and mouse game, they're playing with each other. But in this season, both of them were willing to sacrifice the people they love to get to the ultimate goal. And then what happened on the season finale was classic. It was classic. However, it kind of surprised Axelrod. He didn't think Chuck had it in him to do that, to blow up all his relationships just to get him. And that's what it's going to take <laughs> to bring down Axelrod. Chuck knew what he had to do. Now, during all this trial and tribulations, Chuck is dealing with his wife. His wife, in my opinion, is a freaking hypocrite. She's a hypocrite. I can't stand her. Because she is so busy trying to think that she's helping people. She's trying to have a conscience. She ain't got no conscience. Because I knew when she slept with that dude, I knew it. I knew it. I knew what she was. You're just like everybody else. And then I can't stand Axelrod's wife. His wife is full of it. It's like, look, you know how your husband is. You know what you married. See, this is the thing. Women, you need to pay attention to these two women. These two women are what we call in the moment women. Now, you might be wondering, what do you mean by in the moment women? Women who just love the moment. They bask in the moment. But then, but then when things get to the point where it's going down or their husbands have to do certain things to keep them out of it so they can handle their business. They act, they, they, they get all mad and then try to act like, I can't believe you did this. Why? <laughs> your, your husband, and this is to um, Mrs. Rhodes, your husband is the head DA over in the Southern District. He has to be the way he is to get convictions. If he wasn't like that, you would not have married him. Now, let's go to, hold on. Now, Mrs. Axelrod, she tried to put all that on Mrs. Rhodes about her husband. So basically, Mrs. Axelrod, like I was saying, you knew what your husband was before you married him. And ever since, you know, when he lied to her, when he talked about the terms that he's the one that made the terms, when it wasn't him, it was um Mrs. Rhodes who did it. She tried to use that by taking his kids. Now, the one thing women see, you don't take a man's children from him. Especially at a time like that. You just don't do it. It's not the right thing to do. And he left all these crazy messages. Just like us men do. Now, that's a little lovey-dovey BS. But this is the BS that I love. Chuck Hearns devised a plan to have him, um, to have Axelrod incriminate himself. Which he did. Because he went and he found out from Boyd. If you remember Boyd, Boyd was sacrificed axelrod did him dirty like he always do axelrod does whatever it takes to win he'll throw you under the bus <laughs> if he can win he can win now what he did was he gave boyd a warning before he got arrested and he knew this way ahead of time and that's why boyd was pissed off so boyd got him back and basically told him what was going to happen but see when that happened he did everything he was supposed to do he moved money around, moved things around. So 
everything won't go under. Then they tried to come to his house, seize his assets and all this stuff. Couldn't do it because he got the heads up. And then him and Chuck had their famous season finale like they did in the first one where they're going at it with each other, basically saying my stick's bigger than yours. No, my stick's bigger than yours. All that stuff. And that's the thing. The reason season two, what it showed me was how nobody took it personal. But when they take it personal, they do things to you to work around you, to destroy you and to cut you. But see, you won't see it until it's too late. And that's the thing they do. Remember, Axelrod tried to put a thing together where he brought that one dude. I forgot his name, but he got in trouble first season because he leaked something. So that dude tried to do the same thing to Axelrod. But Axelrod, the thing about him is he's always thinking 100 steps ahead. Chuck knew that the other dude who was investigating him he was going to put him in place to um, go get Axelrod because he knew he could get him. However, this is why I love Chuck. Chuck knew that dude. He's too by the book. He's too straightforward. And this is why I try to tell people, stop being always about the book. Read the book. If you read the book, then you're able to do what you got to do. It's like if you're at any job, you... You learn the ins and outs. You learn the good, the bad, the front, the back of the job. And the best way to learn that is from reading people. That's what black folks are. That's how we learn. I forgot the term, but that's how we learn. We learn by reading people. You know. Um, pink folk, they learn by directions, by looking at directions and different things on how to make money or not make money. But at the end of the day, it all comes back to fruition. Now, this season basically showed you <laughs> that Chuck would do everything. And like Axelrod said, I may go down. If I go down, trust me. You're coming with me. And guess what? Chuck Hearn says, I don't care if I go with you. I just want you out the way. And that's because Chuck Hearns does not like him. He feels Axelrod puts on this charade and he basically is fake. He'll do anything to win and he does more illegal than legal. It's just that nobody knows it because they don't see it or they're not there to witness it. Axelrod doesn't like Chuck because he feels like Chuck is messing with him because he's a big ass hater. And that he's miserable in his life. When he also found out is that Chuck is just as bad, if not worse than him, which he is. They're all hypocrites on this show. The only person who ain't a hypocrite is Taylor. Taylor, I don't know if it's a he or she. I just call it it. Because <laughs> he got the bald head. Uncle Fester and shit. <laughs> Taylor knows how to do things. Taylor knows what to do, what not to do. And Taylor is the reason why the company is moving because Taylor knows how to analytically look at stuff. But what? But your um. But the thing is this: Axelrod knows. He knows. He knows Taylor. He just wants Taylor to learn how to deal with people. Because if Taylor learn how to deal with people, Taylor's gonna be a beast. Taylor's gonna be a billionaire in no time. And he sees it. That's why that's why Axelrod kept her or kept it. But um Wags, Wags was just going all over the place. But I love Wags. Wags is my guy. Because Wags don't care. He'll flip out one day, but then come back like everything, nothing happened. That's how I used to be. Drank a whole honey proof the night before, then go to work. <laughs> that's how I used to be back in the day. Now I'm body too old for that now give it four stars out of four the stories were good i just don't like the wives of chuck or um or axelrod to me 
they they it's like they want to be the person like like they they feel like they feel like their men can't make mistakes their men are going to make mistakes in this line of work and to me both of them just lying to themselves every night about it but hey it is what it is man but i give it four stars out of four great show season two was great um like i said we learned what chuck would do to get axelrod finally got axelrod behind bars but axelrod got out but axelrod did the smart thing moved all his assets did everything named taylor i think as the i forgot the term but the head of the business side of the company he owns the company but she runs the business there they day to day which was very smart and taylor the one who suggested that so um all that other side stuff i don't really talk about that you know because it is what it is but let me know what you guys thought about billion season two thank y'all for listening we out deezy